please welcome Alex Jones. First off, I want to salute everybody who came out here in defiance of tyranny! Civilizations go one way or the other. You either become more free or you become enslaved. And there are only a few countries worldwide where you can still own firearms. Governments worldwide controlled by powerful anti-free market corporate interests like Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan and others have financed programs from Australia to France, from England to South Africa to disarm the people. Whether it was King George 235 years ago who wanted disarmed slaves, or whether it was Santa Ana 177 years ago, or whether it was Adolf Hitler or Mao Zedong, these scumbags are all the same! They are bullies that think we're going to lay down to them and lick their boots! I can assure you that if William Barrett Travis was here, or the others that died in this sacred shrine were here, they would give us a rebel yell of liberty! I can assure you they knew full well they were going to die, but they were so angry watching people tied up and shot in the back of the head all over Texas because they wouldn't turn their guns in, that they came down here to show an example of what you do in the face of tyrants! tell you, I'm no different than my ancestors, you're no different than your ancestors. My ancestors on both sides of my family started the Texas Revolution, and I'm here to tell you that revolution was a continuation of human beings fighting its bullies and tyrants in every civilization throughout history, and this is the struggle of the individual against the bullies and the tyrants, and I salute you all for being here today. Amen. This is the heart of 1776. It wasn't one of the reasons that the war against King George began. It was the central, main, final reason at Lexington and Concord. And it wasn't one of the reasons there was a rebellion against the dictator Santa Ana, later thrown out in Mexico proper. It was the main, central reason they met at Washington on the Brazos, where my great, 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 great grandfather Heirs helped kick the whole thing off to say we're not turning our guns in and we're not running and we're not backing down. If you want them, come and take them. Yeah. And make no mistake, the entire world is watching us. There are shrines in here sent for places like Japan. And our fight for liberty includes every man, woman, and child, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, old, young. It doesn't matter. You have a right to self-defense, and that's what this is all about. That's right. There is a fight worldwide to take your guns. Dianne Feinstein, Handgun Control Incorporated, the few dozen Democratic Party operatives, they're going to have marching here in a little while. Uh, the so-called moms, they are here to disarm you while Homeland Security buys tens of thousands of armored vehicles and buys billions of bullets and trains with paper targets of little children. Right. As Patrick Henry said, they're already gearing up. They're already getting ready. These weapons are for us and none other. And that's why we're here in defiance. Right. And I will assure you, I will tell you right now, that if the people that died here could see us now, and I believe they can, they would be proud of each and every one of you, and I salute you again. They died for us, and countless others throughout history died for us. I don't normally blow my voice up about 30 seconds, but I tell you, this is sacred ground here, just like Lexington, just like Concord. My friends, it's all about standing up against tyranny. And it is about liberty or death. It is what Travis put in that final letter. Victory or death. Because the victory, the victory, my friends, was the fight for the right to self-defense and not being slaves. I want Mexico today to get a Second Amendment. Do you think Mexico 
would be the murder capital of the world right now. Do you think they would be the murder capital of the world right now if they had a second amendment? They are a countrywide Chicago where only the criminals have the guns. That's and that's right. what we need to have 1776 worldwide. That's why. Drink some water here. I'm almost done, folks. But I had to come down here just to tell you that the police officers that are here, the Homeland Security people that are here, all of them, you are going to be enslaved by this system. You, you will be targeted first when the globalists actually take over. And you know that in your gut. And there is an awakening happening worldwide. And we are that tip of the spear. And I am so proud of Texas. Amen. We will take our rights back in San Antonio. We will take our rights back in Austin. We will take our rights back in Chicago. We will take our rights back in Beijing. We will take our rights back in Mexico City. We will take our rights back in Australia and England and everywhere else because there is a worldwide awakening that is happening right now. We must hang together and retake Texas and then the Republic because the globalists know the world is waking up to them, so they are accelerating a program to take over. We are in a key juncture in history. You can politically see it, you can feel it, you know it. And that's why I admire people like Martin Luther King, who would be arrested for his basic rights and to stand up against laws that were unconstitutional. And it's the same thing, it's the same thing with the folks that are wearing their firearms openly, which is already legal and lawful in many states. In other areas, those laws are what are in violation of the supreme law of the land, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution that only points out God-given basic rights that were there all along, but we have to breathe life into them. God damn it, Amen. Amen. In closing, the reason we have to do this in an example of the tyranny we face is that everyone I know who lives in Hayes County, Williamson County, Travis County, and even in more rural areas than that, on 100 acre, 200 acre farms, are having folks move in, great folks who are ignorant. We need to wake them up and save them. They've been brainwashed, they're zombies. They're coming in and calling the police on folks when they're deer hunting or target shooting, and the police actually show up and arrest people even though there's no law because they've been told by the feds and get the 30 pieces of silver to do it. That's right. They are persecuting gun owners right. everywhere. We are the persecuted group because the globalists know that we're the seed of political understanding that will sweep away their tyranny. And that That's is right. why they're coming after us. So we have to either get on our knees as slaves or get on the offense and take this country back. Right. And you know what Diane Feinstein said? She said, if I could get the votes, Miss and Miss America, turn in all your guns. Come they and take want all our guns. They're not misguided. They're not misguided liberals. They are authoritarians who are arming with the teeth against us. They want to make us their slaves. And to Obama and Dianne Feinstein and all the tyrants like Joe Biden and all those that came before them, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hand. Right, right. Believe me, we're not going to lay down if you offensively attack us. We're going to stand up just as they did at Lexington and Concord. They didn't shoot first. They didn't ask for the trouble. But they said if they mean to have a war, they're going to have one. Because these globalists, they are the usurpers that have come into our country and taken it over. They are the occupiers. They have captured our nation. They brag that they've captured America. Well, to chase Manhattan to all the big mega banks. You don't run this country. You've stolen it by fraud, and we've identified you, and we're taking the Republic back. God bless you all. Yeah. 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 Don't be mean to the 
million non mugs, all five of them. These are pathetic zombies. Just realize they're stupid victims that want us to live like they do slaves. 